So this is Dacian. Uh, this is a prototype demo, and they very pointedly said that this is a mechanics demo. So this is not so much about um, story or necessarily overall gameplay, but more just how is the combat. So we'll just be approaching it, um, assuming I haven't read anything on the forum thread, assuming I haven't read any extra materials that have come with it, just I got the game, I want to play the game, and let's kind of see how everything goes. Uh, and I believe this is playing through like a dream sequence of his, which uh, presumably is a recurring um, element within the game. Yes, as a new player I'd love the combat tutorial. And there's a jellyfish. Uh, okay, can't cast fury. I have a low chance to inflict paralysis and fury, which costs rage, which I don't have enough for, and it initiates combos, which I don't know anything about combos. But it does have some sort of cooldown. I don't have any items to play with, so why don't we see what this magic ability does? Okay, can inflict paralysis. 49 damage, and it inflicts paralysis. All right, so um, apparently you need to have enough rage and the enemy has to be inflicted with a status ailment in order to use fury. And apparently status effects we're looking for are abrasion, suffocate, paralysis, and burn. Um, and you have to have at least 25 points of rage. Okay, I don't know what abrasion, suffocate, or burn do. I can certainly take my guesses, but apparently those are the four I need to look at in order to use fury. This is a fire elemental enemy. Now, how would I know it's a fire elemental enemy Did this to, if this tutorial hadn't told me that was the case? I don't know if maybe there's a scan ability. I didn't see it in my list or how I would um, really figure that out. And why do I want to use the water bomb when he has 25 points of rage? Because I can... Well, I guess I don't have 25 points of rage. So it's saying don't use it. I see, because it inflicts Suffocate. Which weakens attack and defense. Good, so there's an explanation of what Suffocate does. Uh, however, I don't have 25 Rage, so all I can do is either attack or use my magic. But, since I don't have any magic restoring items, I better just use my basic attack for now, and let's kind of see how it compares. So, the magic attack did 49 damage, and my basic attack does 35. So magic does a little bit more, but not significantly so. So I think... Barring trying to inflict status effects, probably just spamming attack is going to be my best motion here, which... Eh, it's not great, but given that it's still part of the tutorial, that's pretty acceptable. Because um, who knows, I mean, with this fury and initiating combos, it might get a lot more interesting and complex. So now we're looking to inflict paralysis again. Okay, didn't do it. So now I can't use my super cool thing and... But I do have 25 Rage, and it did say, hey, use this to automatically inflict Suffocate. Uh, now I can see I'm suffering from Burn. Now I don't know what Burn does. Maybe it's a dot, maybe it's stat reducing, I don't know. And I can also see there's a, a symbol next to my name on the portrait, next to Dacia, and there's like a green kind of um, uh, icon. And I notice it turns red at times, but I don't really know what those colors indicate. So I'm sort of curious about like, okay, what information is that providing to me as a player? But we'll do this so that I can inflict and uh, suffocate for sure. Now again, okay, I can see that if I had a water ability, it's strong against that, so I could probably reason that, okay, it's weak to water. But how would I know that beforehand? Because I don't know that I would be cool using my one-time use items. Right, it is a one-time use thing. If I didn't know that it was going to be something useful. Uh, so, okay, I can use my combo stuff. Now, see, I've got Fury on my menu here, and I also have it here. So, is there a difference between using Fury from this magic menu? Because is Fury a magic ability? And this Fury ability from my skill menu? I mean, I could guess that they're the same thing, but maybe they're a little different. And they just have the same name. Who knows? So, I'm going to try this one. Apparently, hits three people. And, okay, I guess I'm supposed to be hitting keys to be doing some kind of up. Okay, so I don't know what that combo system is. I can see that it says hit some keys. I 
don't really know if there was a benefit to it. That sort of caught me off guard. I didn't know that that was something I was supposed to be doing. I'm still trying to look at it, figure out, okay, what's the best thing I can do with these? Um, so that'll just be, okay. But he's still got, oh, so that's interesting. So see, the enemy is inflicted with a status, oh, right. So I know that this is on cooldown, not because it's apparent to me here where I use the ability, but because I remember that it was also here and in this ability description, it says that it's on a cooldown, so... I don't know, maybe keeping the Fury ability in your magic menu would be better than keeping it from your main menu. Because if I hadn't come in here and looked at it, and seen that CD equals two turns... Now even that, right? You know, I, I play a lot of games, I can take a guess, okay, CD probably means cooldown. Uh, but, and that's cool having it, like, as uh, shorthand in the ability cost, where I'm hovering over my cursor here. But in the description, I think it should say cooldown, so that... Uh, someone doesn't come in and have to make the assumption, what does CD stand for? Uh, and there's, there's plenty of room still left in this description field. Okay, now interesting, my attack did more damage, right? The first time I attacked it did 37, and that time it did 51. Uh, so I don't know if there's a very wide range of damage that your attack can do. Maybe my magic ability has a wide range of damage that I can do. Um... This is a, a script that I recognize too. This is your kind of gaining experience in like messages post battle script. I've seen it in a lot of games, and I kind of have the sneaking suspicion that this message that wasn't so tough might be one of the stock messages. Because uh, it stands out to me as something that sounds very stock. So hopefully that's something that'll be changed kind of further on. But again, this prototype demo isn't supposed to be about that, it's supposed to be all about mechanics, right? I don't know how I feel about item quality kind of following that, that MMO style of like rare, epic, and legendary, and random stats and whatnot. I, I think it works in an MMO. I don't know that it's something I think is going to work so much in a single player game. I, I know there's stuff like the Elder Scrolls series that kind of has that, but I don't know. Not the point of the prototype, I guess. I, I won't say anything too much more about that. So, okay, what do I have from my menu? I've got items, I don't start with any. Uh, I've got a weapon, can't really do too much with it. Oh, apparently when I go to weapons, I can check different kinds. Okay, so I guess there's three different types of weapons I can carry. And a dagger is one of them. And it increases some stats. Now, so I have agility and I have dexterity. Those are similar enough that I don't really know the difference between what does what. So hopefully there's a status menu or uh, some kind of information I can look up that tells me what's the difference between those two. Because I can guess that strength probably is my physical damage and uh, intellect or intelligence perhaps uh, is probably magic. But again, those are just assumptions based on, well, I've played other games. You know, if this is someone's first RPG... They might be like, I don't know what any of this does. This is kind of interesting. Armors it has a subcategory, but then the only subcategory is all. So that sort of seems like an unnecessary step to have to go through. The one of 20. How so? Of 20 what? Okay, so that's kind of curious. That is a lot of extra HP. So what if I hadn't gotten this particular ring, right? Like, is this much HP going to be necessary, or is it now just going to be overpowered? And uh, and what is res? You know, I, I get res plus three. Is that resist? Is that, like, the equivalent of magic defense? Is that a chance to not have a spell land? Again, I'm, I'm hoping there's um, something that explains what these stats do. So let's take a look at our status menu. Okay, so this is uh, my current stats and whatnot. I have properties. Okay. And a biography. Release Fury, do this, right? And our damage tutorial helped with that. Damage increases as his rage meter fills. I think that information would really do well being in the combat tutorial. I mean, yeah, sure, I came in here and I took a look and I read very carefully, but I don't think for something as important as a game mechanic, it should be stored here. Um, and he becomes enraged when his rage meter is full. Okay. So what does being enraged do for me? That's cool. I'm glad that I get some sort of benefit out of letting my rage meter fill up. 
but what does that do for me? Is it a benefit? Am I supposed to keep it under 100? Because who knows, maybe Enraged is actually bad. Uh, and let's see, I've got, right, these two magic abilities. Uh, I can learn new magic. I guess apparently it costs experience. I don't know what minus WU means, though. So I can see, okay, this one costs uh, energy, this one costs rage and energy, this one costs rage, this one costs rage. But, but what is WU? And what do these combo chains mean? I mean, I, I can take a guess. So like, okay, I know for example that when you say LR in this description, what you mean is if you're using a controller, the L and R buttons. Parentheses, if you're not using a controller, the Q and W keys. But again, if you don't know RPG Maker particularly well, you might be like, what does this mean, LRQW? Does that mean like it has one effect if you hit LR, but then it gets a bonus effect if you also hit QW? What are What is QW? So it's not really like readily apparent what that means unless you are already a game dev. Uh, and and kind of the same issue down here as well. So... Now, is this something I need to memorize if I want to use these abilities, right? Do I need to know that, okay, when I use Void Bolts, I must remember that I have to hit QW. If I want to use Corruption, do I must have to remember that I need to hit WQA? Or when I use them, is there some kind of prompt that'll be like, by the way, this was the combo for this? Because um, if it's the case that I kind of have to come in here and memorize it, odds are pretty good I'm probably just going to stick to a single ability. Or, I might just try and learn this one that doesn't appear to have a combo to it. And again, I don't know. Maybe that information is all in there. Just initial concerns. Uh, and crystals. Okay. Um, I don't know what crystals does. But it appears I don't have anything to interact with it. So I guess I'll keep an eye out for picking up, I don't know, something called crystals, right? Well, why don't we pick up, you know, so, okay. Uh, we got some new equipment. Okay, we got a weapon. And so again here, okay, do I want my int to go down by three? And, you know, and this is kind of unfortunate that something I got out of a combat drop, I would assume is better than my starting equipment. I mean, I should certainly hope that anything I get is better than my starting equipment. And yet here, I don't really know. Okay, it increases my agility. Is that good? Do I want that? Uh, it increases my strength. Pre presumably that means I do more damage on attack. But now I'm losing intelligence or intellect or whatever int ends up standing for. Does that mean that my electroshock is going to be less powerful? What about my rage abilities? Is that based on strength or is that based on int? So maybe this is better, maybe it's not. But I'll just sort of assume that that's uh, probably better than my starting equipment. But I don't really know. Nothing for my offhand, nothing for my head. Nothing here, nothing here. Okay. Um... And so I can see, all right, well, in that tutorial battle, I took about half my health. I still don't have any way to heal myself, so certainly increasing my hit points seems quite helpful because I don't have nearly enough to really get through much. Uh, and I can even see that my class is a Shadow Mage, so now I'm second-guessing my, my equipping something that increases my strength. I'm wondering if really I want to be wearing something that increases my int. So I'll go ahead and equip that. But I'm thinking, you know what? Perhaps the stick is better because of the int increase. Uh, right, and this just straight increases my stats, so there's no reason not to have those. And if I optimize, it even still says, yeah, stick is definitely better. So, you know, I, I got a drop out of it, and now it's just, okay, vendor trash. And that's kind of unfortunate. I mean, yeah, it's, it's cool to have vendor trash. I think that's good. You know, not everything should drop gold, certainly not a jellyfish. So it's cool that I can get something I can go sell to someone, hopefully, for money. But... It also feels a little disappointing that, like, mm, a stick. A stick is better than that dagger. Uh, right, and this just looks like uh, yawn flies options and whatnot. So cool, now that I've gone through all that, and apparently I got a legendary thing, so that must be super cool. So I'm going to go ahead and save. Okay, so looking around, what do I see that looks to be of interest? Okay, there's a sign up top. Um, I can kind of barely see a treasure chest hidden in the top right. I see some blinking eyes in the top right. So those are the things that stand out to me that, hey, I want to interact with those. Uh, and it looks like I can't dash. Uh, holding shift doesn't dash. Eh, that's kind of unfortunate, but it's a small enough map. It's probably not a big deal. 
Do I need that tutorial after all? Um, is that the combat tutorial? Is that going to make me go through the combat tutorial? Or is this a different tutorial? Because I said, yes, I do want to do it. So now that's saying, do I need it after all? You know, it's like, well, is it referring to the same thing? Which tutorial does it mean? But I'll just go ahead and assume it means the combat one and say no. So that's all the sign does. Okay. Well, how about these eyes? Can I interact with the eyes? No, can't do anything there. Okay, treasure chest. And I got a few items. So let's go take a look at what they do here. All right, shiny apple heals me enough. Well, I'm already pretty low on health. I know the first battle I got into with even one enemy reduced me to half. So hopefully I find a bunch of these because I'm very concerned that every battle I get into might kill me. Let's see what else I've got here. Cherries, which heals up my magic, but I'm not missing too much. So that's fine. How about battle? Okay. Key item. All right, so not key item, not battle, not field. I see I've got these gems. Okay, they increase HP. I can't seem to do anything with them. So maybe there's like a shop or some kind of other thing I can interact with later on in the game that's like, hey, do you have gems? We can totally do stuff for you. Uh, so I guess right now they don't really do anything at all. So, okay, well, let's see. Oh, all right. It's random battles. So now it's not a hate fiend, it's a doubt fiend. All right, can't use my magic. I don't have any water bombs. Maybe they're fire strong as well. Kind of hard to tell. Uh, I, mean, I know I can only use my rage ability if I stun somebody, so I guess this is good. And I've still got those cherries. So hopefully that helps me somehow. Okay, well, it didn't stun them. That's kind of unfortunate. You know, I can't really rely on it stunning. Now it's like, well, do I really want to use that? Maybe I need to save it for a boss because maybe constantly trying to stun someone and not successfully doing it is unfortunate. Especially since now it's a, a random enemy, whereas this one's been weakened, so now I want to continue working on this one. Because what if I use a magic ability and it hits the second enemy? Well, now they're, they're both still doing damage to me, but it's very, uh, very much in my interest to kill one enemy at a time. So I don't want to use an ability that targets someone randomly. So now I'm kind of like, eh, it's probably better to just spam attack. Which is, okay, so what does anxiety do? I see that he has, I, I only know that that icon represents anxiety because I saw it very quickly it said casts anxiety. Uh, what does that mean? Is that a buff for him? Is that a debuff? I would think anxiety is a debuff. That means he's performing less effectively. But I can't really tell what's going on other than, okay, so he cast an avalanche, and then he cast panic attack. But panic attack didn't seem to do anything. You just cast panic attack and nothing happened. I don't know what an uncertain avalanche is. Okay, so these enemies take a lot of damage to be killed. Oh, okay, so now I'm confused and I don't get turns. Uh, and that sucks. Like, that's pretty unfortunate that I gotta kind of sit there and just let the game play itself. And so again, this icon, I've got an icon on the top right of my screen, uh, this kind of green swirl. I don't know what that means, and I've got it next to my name as well. I don't know how to interpret that. Is that important information to me? Is it something I should change my strategy on? You know, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, I would think for like the very beginning of the game, these guys should die a lot sooner. This is a lot of attacks and a lot of damage I have to focus down. And again, if I had been using something that targeted randomly, like, it would take even longer for this enemy to die. And so I can see, again, that icon turns red when it's not my turn. So why? What, what does that mean to me? Right. Um, so, okay, now I know this won't target randomly. It's always going to hit the same person. So I'm a little more likely to be like, yeah, cool. I definitely want to use my rage abilities. I've got 84 rage. I'm, I'm almost capped out. Like, definitely, I, I want to start using some of these cool combos. Even though, to my knowledge, I don't have any combos yet. And I can see, wow, 73 damage. That really speeds up the fight. But I've only cast Electroshock three times since I started playing this game, and, and I'm already using up most of my magic. And, you know, those cherries, how am I going to get those cherries back? I mean, there were the two in the chest, but now, presumably, I'm just hoping for um, drops, which is kind of unfortunate for me. Right? Okay, well, now I don't want to use magic because it's a, a limited resource. Although, as I recall, hey, maybe when I get to 100... Okay, cool, I'm enraged. You know, and so here, okay, now what is this? I thought the battle was over. I just killed both the guys. Now they're different colors. They're anger and fear fiends. Like, so, so why did enemies just respawn? Is this an infinite battle? 
Because I have no idea how many times I'm going to kill both enemies and they're going to show up. So maybe I'm thinking, D did I do something wrong? Was there some special way I was supposed to kill them that I failed? And now I have to infinitely fight enemies. So now I'm, like, concerned, right? Um, okay, Electroshock certainly did a lot of damage. I guess I've got cherries. I can go ahead and use them. Well, let's just see what happens. Okay, cool. I do a whole bunch of damage now that I'm enraged. So presumably that's cool that I'm enraged. I guess I want to be enraged. How does my basic attack compare when I'm enraged? Okay, so Electroshock still does a lot more damage. But, and wow, look at that burn, right? 37 damage to me. That's, what, 15% of my health? Like, that's a damn scary debuff, and I don't have any way to remove it. And I know that if I don't kill him this turn, that's probably going to kill me. So I have to use my last healing item. And this is my second battle of the game and I'm already out of healing items and now I'm concerned and now do I want to take the turn to restore my magic given that I know I can't heal myself anymore because I've run out of items uh, and you know is this turn worth the damage that I'm about to give up because I know that electroshock's probably going to take two casts to kill this guy or I could kill him potentially in two attacks maybe three but either way it's going to take me three turns except the basic attacks will not cost me any more magic points. So I, I don't have any reason to use magic and to use cherries and whatnot. It's just as efficient to just spam attack. And, well, okay, and I got a critical hit and got kind of lucky. Uh, okay, more random drops. Cool. Yeah, so, okay, crap, I'm out of healing items. I, I still don't have a healing ability. That's really kind of unfortunate. Uh, I better go ahead and restore my magic out of battle, because, wow, every turn makes an enormous difference so far. So, alright, and let's go check out these new items. Oh, okay, I optimized. I guess I didn't get a chance to really check them out, but let's see how it compares. Okay, uh, just a straight upgrade. Going from Nightcap to Nightcap of Visions, okay. Uh, and going from nothing to going to wings, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, crap, now I can't heal myself, though. I don't have an ability to heal myself. I have nothing I can do, and... So, okay, well... Let's try going a direction, you know, can I... What is that thing, that orb? Okay, so what orb? He's mentioned something about an orb, but I have no idea what he's talking about. So I go up here, and... Shadow says he's coming for me. Alright. That seems unfortunate. Okay, so I see there's a lot of sparkle effects over here in the corner. Which means... what? What am I looking for on sparkle effects? You know, now I'm worried, like, crap, I can't heal myself. I don't want to be fighting these battles. Like, I'm running out of resources. This is not good. So I'm thinking, I really don't want to be doing these fights. So I'll try to escape. Yeah, yeah, forget that. There's no way. Okay, sparkles. There's sparkles going on over here. Yeah, nothing. Okay, so maybe I can try and examine the sparkles. Oh, I'm able... To oh, the chest respawn. That's odd. That is not something I would expect. But okay, good. I've got healing items again. That's good to know. Now, I didn't know that the chest had respawned. I had no idea that's what the sparkles meant. I thought I was actually trying to examine whatever the sparkles were hanging over. You know, it was like, oh, there must be some object over here that's near the chest. So if that's the behavior we were looking for, I mean, cool. But that, I mean, I don't know. I, I did that not knowing. And so again, because presumably these healing items are in such short supply, I don't really want to use it just yet because now I feel like I'm wasting it. Now, how am I doing on experience, right? I've got uh, 87. Now, as I recall, oh, there was something about learning new abilities. Oh, but I'm going to need at least 150. And eh, something that just does damage has a 25% chance to inflict a status effect. I don't recall blind being one of the things that enables rage. So I have no motivation to learn Nightshade. To, to my point of view as a player, Nightshade is effectively a worthless ability. It's a trap. It's going to use up experience that I would use on something that's actually useful to me. And, okay, this provides me with a combo, and it's very cheap on Rage. That's pretty cool. But if I hold out for 50 more experience, I can get something that doesn't require me to memorize combo chains. So probably I'm more likely to go for Stampede, even though it costs 50 Rage. So maybe I might want to pick up Corruption or Void Bolts here. So, so this is good kind of choice options. But Nightshade, I think, looks more like filler. Okay, so Up made me pop up in the bottom left. So, all right, I don't see anything else to explore. I guess we'll go to the right. Ah, just took me back here. Okay, I see sparkles again. Oh, I see a sparkle on this rock next to me. Let's go. Oh, okay, that's 
You had a question mark. What's cool with that? Oh, a crystal. Oh, yes. I remember something about crystals. I don't remember where it was in my menu. Oh, it adds chance, steals, energy. Okay. Yeah, where were crystals? Oh, here. Cool. Okay. Uh, can I just... Oh, so I can slot crystals my magic. Okay, that's a pretty cool, nifty little thing I can do. Uh, it doesn't look like I can slot anything to that. So I only have one ability I can slot any crystals to, so... Mm, yeah, I better just slot everything to crystal. Um, looks like there's a little bit of overlap on the bottom right of the plus over the EN. So that's sort of unfortunate. If you can maybe push that back to the right a little bit, that would definitely be cool. I don't even really know what those crystals are doing. Okay. I got a chance of extra blind, but I don't remember blind being one of the status effects mentioned in the tutorial that helps me deal extra damage. I remember it was suffocation, paralysis, burn. Maybe blind was one of them, but I don't really remember. And I don't have anything to help me. There's nothing in here that reminds me, oh yeah, these are the status effects that's okay. Uh, you know, where am I supposed to look to say, wait, how did I use those fury abilities again? Uh, there's nothing immediately obvious. It's like, okay, I guess this is an infinitely lootable chest. All right, I'm, I'm still picking up these gems. I can't really do anything with them. Uh, hopefully, I'll find a use for them later. Okay, so it looks like every single time I change the map screen, I'm going to get more items back. So yeah, what the hell, I'll just go ahead and, and heal up. You know, which maybe makes me say, okay, I guess these battles aren't quite as scary, but now, oh, hey, look, there's a little sparkle thing. Okay, more crystals. Cool, I guess I'll go slot that in my magic. Uh, adds lightning strike to a skill. Okay, so presumably more damage, so that's pretty cool. And more chance to inflict paralysis. All right, great, especially since I'm not even using something that does blind. That's cool. Uh... Crystal of Blind, probably just going to be Vendor Trash. Again, Nightshade didn't look like an ability that was actually useful to me, so... Eh, extra chance for Blind does not seem useful whatsoever. Cool, more healing items, more stuff. Alright, I feel less scared about doing these battles. You know, oh, and I can restore my magic, so it's totally cool if I just go ahead and use this. Now, I noticed the cost of Electroshock has changed a little bit. At some point it was 19, now it's 20. So why is that? And I can see in the top right... I've got two of those green symbols now. Okay, I still don't know what those green symbols mean. This, this seems like important information I'm supposed to know the difference between. Because sometimes I see one, sometimes I see two. I have no idea what it means. Alright, I'll just go ahead and do that. Can I drain some stuff? Uh, oh, okay, apparently I get to act again. Oh, I notice there's a gray and a green one. Now, I kind of know because I've worked with RPG Maker a bunch that probably what it is means I get an extra turn, but... Again, if you're not a super familiar with RPG Maker player, how do you know that that's really what you mean? How do I not just know, oh, I don't know, I guess he didn't take a turn. The enemy just skipped his turn for some unknown reason, you know? So it's sort of like, I, I don't really know how to react to that. Okay, great. Now I feel extremely overpowered. Okay, why did my defense go down upon leveling up, right? I went from level one to level two and I lost defense. So now I'm like, crap, is leveling up a bad thing? Is, is that not so great? I mean, yeah, the other increases are cool. Wow, an HP increase of one, that seems pretty worthless. Why even increase HP at all if it's only going to go up one? Uh, and I don't know, how, how much is one increase on my other stats? Is that significant? Does it matter? Kind of hard to say, right? Okay, more random drops, which unfortunately means I need to go compare items and say, eh, which one's better? Okay, more defense and more hit points. Yeah, but I'm a mage. I feel like intellect's probably better, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. And I got an earth bomb. Well, I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's good. Uh, attack an, an illil. I guess that's just a typo. Uh, okay, so automatically conflicts confused. So I guess that's pretty cool, even if I don't find something that's weak to earth. Uh, but it kind of looks to me like, alright, at this point, I just want to go loot as many chests as possible. And going up puts me as far away from them as I can, so I definitely don't want to go there. Uh, but it looks like that magic drain effectively refills all the magic I spent casting Electroshock. So now I know, hey, forget it, what's the point of casting Fury? Just infinitely cast Electroshock, because I get all my magic back anyway. You know, oh, and I saw something missed. Oh, magic can miss, okay. That's kind of unfortunate. Oh, and again, so why do I suddenly have two enemies to fight, right? Um, this is surprising to me. I don't really understand what's going on with that. And it looks like, oh, they've got quite a lot of health. Now, 
I don't know if the enemies scale with you. You know, why is that level 4? Why is he level 2? Uh, definitely I want this guy to go down, so I kind of don't want to keep casting my random target thing. Like, no, I want this guy down. Oh, damn, he heals himself. Well, that really sucks. Well, now I guess I gotta keep doing this, because now I want to use my Fury ability, but unfortunately I have no reliable way of inflicting it, and... That kind of sucks. I don't like sitting here and, like, relying on random luck. But, okay, cool, I can use Fury. Uh, I don't have any combo abilities. I know the last time it came up, it just told me to do a bunch of stuff. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do, but I guess I gotta be quick, because there's a timer. Uh, I don't know, Q, 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 yeah, okay. That, is that good? Was that a good combo? I, I have no idea. And what if I'm not using a keyboard? What if I was using um, a controller like the menu I saw referenced and it said QWASD and it's like, well, I don't know what QWASD maps to on a controller, right? In the ability description for learning new skills that it said, oh yeah, you can totally learn some new stuff, but, you know, it's, uh, where was it? Um, I think it was in learn here, right? It says, oh yeah, here's your combo chain. You can use LR or QW. But when the combo thing pops up and I use Fury, it doesn't have that nice little, uh, hey, if you're using a controller, use these keys, and if you're using keyboard, use these keys. It just sort of assumes you're using a keyboard. Um, okay, Void Bolts. Uh, I see it has a combo. I don't really know what that is. Is that good? Do I want Void Bolts? Is, is a combo chain a lot of damage? Maybe I just want to save up for Stampede. Because I see, oh, that's a pretty good ability. I assume, because it's expensive, and it's got a five-turn cooldown. So maybe I don't really want to spend on anything yet. I don't know what it does. It's kind of hard to figure out. Oh, I know I got new items. Oh, God, what did I get? I got something. Eh, I don't want to look. That's a lot of time I'm spending. Oh, oh, it replaced my... Do I want to replace my helm? How does it decide that's better? No, no, I don't want to do that. Right, because I want more intellect. I'm a mage. No, I definitely want to do the more damage, so... It's kind of hard to tell, because I don't know what any of these stats do. I, I have no baseline or comparison or anything. Cool, refill all my infinite heal abilities. I see there's a sparkle thing down here. Crystals, HP leech. Okay, well I guess I'll throw that on something. Well, uh, back to the grind. You know, that's kind of unfortunate. You know, I only have one ability to use, right? So, this isn't very interesting. You know, I'm already growing very, very bored of these random battles. It's like, okay, cool, I'm just gonna spam the same thing over and over. Uh, I gotta deal with another one again. Oh, no, I'm confused, I don't get to act. You know, I'm already kind of like, alright, I'm pretty well, you know, I get it. If this is part of the tutorial, I understand. Not really looking to continue spamming the same ability over and over and over, so... I would prefer that, like, if I'm gonna use magic against these guys, and it's gonna be a lot of enemies I have to fight that they die faster because now I'm just sitting here kind of just waiting I'm not really doing anything this doesn't require a lot of thought there's not a lot of interactivity it's just yeah press the button until the battle's over it's very grindy okay leveling up appears to not do anything to me so so what's the benefit of leveling up it doesn't really appear that there is one okay from level one to two I gained some stats from level two to three I gained effectively nothing so what this is teaching me is eh, levels aren't really important you know, oh wow, god, I got a lot of equipment I gotta go sort through too now. Uh, to be fair, some people probably like that. I'm sort of annoyed by it. This is where my random drops thing starts to come in and go, okay, do I actually care all that much? You know, what's wrong with equipment as I have it? I'm still kind of kicking ass on everything. It's not like I have to give any thought to what I'm doing, you know? Uh, HP lead, sure, why not? Eh, how about on the... Well, yeah, whatever. I've got items that heal. I don't need HP leech. Uh, I don't know. Just optimize. Oh, except I actually don't like that. And... Yeah, okay. I want the thing that gives me more int. And who knows? Oh, why didn't this equip... Oh, wow. An epic item is not better than my starter gear. Mm, that's kind of disappointing. That's very unfortunate. Well, what about this thing? An irate ring? Eh, that doesn't really seem better than my starter gear. Well, that's too bad. Uh, what about this? Yeah, so my starter gear of slippers is still better than everything I just got. And to me, that's like, well, I would think an epic item is amazing. You know, it's epic quality. Why am I not getting anything out of it? And, oh, by the way, why did my hit points just go back down to 200? I already used an item to heal myself, so that kind of sucks. I, I used an item to heal, and now I have to heal back up. Uh, well, you know, wandering around in circles. Okay. 
Yep, and I'm prepared. So, all right, so I'm sick of battles. I don't want to go wander over for chests anymore. I'm really tired of random battles. It's very grindy. I'm pretty bored now. Ah, uh, no, I don't want to bother with this. Just escape, right? Because what's there's no interest. There's no entertainment value out of battles now, other than grinding gear, which I completely have no interest in. Oh, okay. Here's something near me, so I guess I'll grab that. Uh, okay. There's a shiny item, but apparently I can't loot it. And he, so I saw just before that I changed screens and said, "Oh, what is that orb? It's very creepy." You know, again, I can see that there's items next to like the glowing eyes up above, but because the random battles are so uninteresting, I have no interest in wandering through the maps now. All right, I guess we're gonna go f something with the shadow. Oh, okay, cool. This kind of looks like a boss. All right, well, you know, I've got tons of gear, got tons of abilities, I totally got this. You know, it's not even gonna be difficult. So, you know, all right, I had some bombs. Maybe they can inflict something. Yeah, cool, make him confuse him and make him attack himself every turn. Yeah, cool. Oh, uh, well, he lost Confuse. Okay, I still can't use Fury. Well, that didn't seem really all that useful to me. Just makes him attack himself for a turn. Well, what else I got? Oh, burn. Yeah, that lets me use Rage. That's totally something I want. Okay, so now I, uh, well, I still don't have enough. Well, remember this just, yeah, I'll just spam this, you know, whatever. Well, not a lot of thought going in anymore. It's just, oh, wow, he really hits me for quite a bit. Okay, and he takes multiple turns in a row, so now I know, well, he can do half my health in one turn, so I'm not allowed to drop below half health. I have to use these items to keep me stocked up, because he can destroy more than half my health in a turn. Uh, still can't use it. Well, keep going back to spamming the random ability and hoping for the best. Uh, it keeps doing null, he's resisting. Okay, so it doesn't look like I can do that, so... Eh, I guess I just gotta use a fire. This is the only way I have, but what if I hadn't picked up fire bombs, right? Like, what if I had been unable to inflict this status effect on him? I wouldn't have been able to use fury. Okay, uh, oh, right. I totally forgot to go learn anything. Eh, I guess, uh, just, you know. Spam the key. Okay, so I did two, two, and three. Okay, fury. Alright, so. This just seems like a worthless ability, so. My shock is resisted, and my combo ability is resisted, so... How much does my basic attack do? Nothing. Okay, so my basic attack does no damage, my fury ability basically does no damage, and my electroshock gets resisted, so... Wow, that really sucks. I don't actually have anything that's effective against this boss. Like... I mean, that's really disappointing, you know? It's like, well, I guess I got these bombs, but man, I hope they're enough to kill him and he doesn't heal himself, and now I'm relying on random luck again, you know? Oh, cool, I inflicted Embrasion, but... Okay, oh, so I'm enraged. Well, does that do more damage now? Can I perhaps kill him using the Enrage bonus? Oh, okay, 33. Yeah, it's not really doing a whole lot of damage. I know I don't want to use Fury. Oh, here goes his... I'm gonna... Oh, okay, now, now he's not doing damage. Well, so why is he not doing damage to me? Right, there's a lot of information going on in this battle that I, I just don't understand. I don't understand why he was kicking my ass earlier, but now everything he's doing is null damage. You know, what have I done to him to make him not do any Was it abrasion? Is abrasion the reason that he doesn't do any damage? What does abrasion do? Oh crap, I'm out of abrasions. I can't do that anymore. Uh, well, the confuse wasn't very helpful, but it seems to do more than what I'm doing, so... Yeah, I guess I'll confuse him for a turn. Well, I'm out of those. I guess I'll burn him and hope the dot kind of helps me. Well, wow, 124. You know, holy crap, that's really good. I wish I had more fire bombs, but I'm out of them and Fury's no good and eh, whatever. Spam attack. It's not very interesting. Oh boy, here he goes with his potentially killing me in a single turn. He's using an ability that has no message. Like, oh no. Oh man, I'm really glad he used something called panic attack there because clearly he could have just killed me. Even though I was actually at pretty high health, it's like, man, the boss almost killed me in a single turn's worth of stuff. And I would have been extremely frustrated if it had, right? And like, I'm worried now. I just healed myself to full, and then just his basic attack has reduced me to a level of health where it's like, well, I don't think it's okay for me to not heal now. So I feel like I'm trapped in a loop of, well, but I, I have to keep healing. He might just kill me right now. Now he's low, so maybe I can go for that, but... You know, this doesn't really feel like something that's using a lot of strategy. I'm just spamming attack and hoping that he doesn't get lucky enough to use an ability that instantly kills me. 
And that kind of sucks, right? So, okay, now I definitely can't sit here. You know, I'm too low. Two attacks could kill me. His fury ability could kill me. I have to heal up. Oh, he's crit. Well, now I got to use this healing ability again. You know, I, I can't form a strategy here. I'm basically just waiting for good luck. And that's not very fun, you know? Okay, well, I'm probably going to kill him with this attack. But again, even 2 of 5, I'm like, I don't know. He might kill me next turn. So I'm sort of hoping, oh, good. I'm glad that it killed him. And I got less experience out of that than I did out of my random battles. It was like, well, for how difficult that was? Man, and there's not even any items. Like, man, that boss was really, really disappointing. So I would be very sad if I were to go play this and this is the experience of a boss. That my abilities are useless and they're actually kind of detrimental. And the best effect is... Spam attack, stay at 100% health, and hope for good luck. And you don't even get good rewards or good items out of it. You know, that's really, really, really disappointing. Uh, end credits. End of demo. So, things I didn't touch on, again, because uh, they were very, very pointed about... Uh, the, the creators of the game were like, this is a demo about mechanics. You know, this isn't about the story it's not really so much about um graphics or about sound or about anything like that it's just mechanics and i i think there's really some interesting ideas here you know what are gems i want to know what gems do but nothing's really explained that to me um crystals are kind of cool but most of my abilities don't do anything with it uh learning stuff oh that actually seems like kind of a cool idea but it's hard to tell what's useful and what's not. I mean, like I said, the only thing I really remembered to check for at the time was uh, the 150 experience one, but it was like, yeah, 25% chance to inflict blind, but I've already got an ability that has a 25% chance to inflict something, and it's paralysis, which seems much stronger than blind, so what's the point of learning that? Um, the random battles are very, very spammy. You know, use the same ability over and over. I mean, there's not really any thought or any strategy or, or anything kind of interesting to it. I'd love to see some more give and take on what you can do in combat. You know, I don't want to just spam electroshock and I don't just want to spam attack. The, the combo ability seems really cool. I like the rage ability. That's really awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What can I do with this? Oh, I can learn abilities that have different combos. Like, that's really interesting because then I can say, well, what ability do I want to use and what combos really well? I wish I had a better explanation of the combo system, right? When I go to use it, it says, yeah, you can hit these keys to set up combos, but I can't really tell the difference from one combo to the next. And it's like, but this seems like something that would be super cool. So I definitely want to know more about that, and I want to use that more, and I want to play with that more. And it's just disappointing that I can't. You know, I don't have enough information. Uh, and there's a handful of things, I think, and I mentioned them previously about, yeah, I could really use more information about that. Like, uh, the Enrage thing, that should go into the combat tutorial instead of in your bio. Um, what are those symbols in the corner, right? What's the symbol next to my name that's sometimes green and sometimes red? What are the green symbols in the top right of the battle screen? Like, what does all that mean? Um, what is CD? What if I'm not used to playing a game that has cooldowns on abilities? What does CD mean? Uh, so I think just kind of more... Um, explanation as if they are not also a developer you know just uh, imagine that someone who's new to your game doesn't know your terminology right i mean for rpg maker games i think there's a relatively safe assumption that okay they've probably played some rpgs before there's probably some tropes they're relatively familiar with but i don't think it hurts to be more explicit with your information so i, I think there's some interesting ideas here i do think it's a little rough at the moment. Uh, I'd be very curious to see how this game works if it were a lot more polished and kind of further along in production. So I'll, I'll probably check back in on it as time goes on. So some cool ideas, some cool kind of introductory stuff to it, but uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs>